All right, trying to pop the beats. This tire, I remove the valve core and uh, turn the force A into this, see if that works. Apparently, this thing here without the core doesn't work. Doesn't push A into the into the tire, so that obviously doesn't work. So plan B. Right, plan B. Put the this valve core back to the valve. See if that works. Again. Nope. Doesn't work. Next, I got methanol. Now, methanol is a liquid, and um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it in, into the inside of the tire. I'm gonna burn it, and hopefully, when it burns, it will expand rapidly and uh, pop the beads. Problem is, this is a liquid and I need gas in order to burn it rapidly. So what I did is I put the tire in the sun, baked in the sun for a while now. It's getting really hot right now. And hopefully when I spray methanol in there, it will evaporate and will, will be mostly gas, methanol gas, inside the tire. So when I burn, it will rapidly uh, burn and expand the gas. And hopefully we'll pop the beads. At least that's the theory. You know about 3 cc of methanol. I'm gonna inject right in here. I already removed the valve core by the way. Hopefully that should be enough. Oh, pretty powerful stuff. Ooh. There you have it. See what time pop the beats with uh, methanol. And I think you can get away with regular alcohol too. This is uh, ethanol. But uh, methanol is easier for this because methanol has a lower boiling point, so it converts into gas easier than ethanol. So I guess for, uh, for ethanol, you just have to put your tire in the sun for a little bit longer and heat it up uh, a little bit harder. And uh, this should also work too. Alright folks, and uh, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.